Well, welcome back. Well, the great Anne Robinson is in the studio. We're with me in just a couple of moments. Hello, you can Hello. hear me Hello, what earlier. happened? <laughs> you can't afford sound I said, in just the green room. I said, just turn her off, because by the time you get out of here, I knew you'd be giving me hell, but it's lovely to see you. Do you know what? I think, as you've got older, you've got better looking. Thank you, Anne Robinson. And look, there's bits of grey, but it's quite nice. <laughs> George Clooney has grey hair. Thank yeah. You. Not looking bad yourself. No, no, for an old woman. <laughs> I'm going to come back to you in a couple of minutes, but I think you may want to hear this. OK. Uh, Taylor Silverman is a world-class skateboarder. She lost out on first place at a Red Bull Cornerstone event in Lincoln, Nebraska last year to a trans competitor and biological male, Lillian Gallagher. And she felt robbed, but she stayed silent until now. And then this week, she took to Instagram to call out Red Bull for allowing trans athletes to compete against biological women. In the post, she said, I deserve to place first, be acknowledged for my win and get paid. I reached out to Red Bull and was ignored. I'm sick of being bullied into silence. Well, Taylor Silverman joins me live now. Taylor, thank you so much for joining me. You can Hi, hear me? Piers, thank oh, you yeah, so I... much for taking the time to speak to me. I really appreciate it. There's a slight delay, Taylor, you. so let me just put this to you. Um, why did you feel that you were robbed? I know that it cost you, uh, you know, several thousand dollars, the fact that you ended up coming second when you would have hoped to win. But why did you feel robbed by the person who beat you? I felt like because the person who won is a biological male, they had an unfair advantage in the competition. And not only was I robbed, but other competitors who are biological females were also robbed. Yeah, and this is, this is the key point I, I keep coming back to on this issue, is that there is an inarguable physical advantage. If you've been born as a biological man and then you transition, I wish you all the very best. I want fairness and equality for you, but not to the point where it creates a new unfairness and inequality with women born to inferior physical bodies, which is the reality in almost every case. I agree completely. When you found yourself competing uh, in this particular competition and you realised that you were not going to win. How did it make you feel? How did it make the other female competitors feel, especially those who didn't get, in the end, any prize money? Well, I can only speak for myself, but I felt like it was an injustice because I really deserved to be recognised for the hard work that I put in as an athlete. And unfortunately, because of the situation that I was put in against my will, I didn't get what I earned and deserved. What do we do about this, Taylor? Because and it's when I tried to speak up, I was silenced and ignored. Right, and uh, we've, we've heard from Red Bull tonight. They're apparently going to reach out to you again. But I, I've been trying to work out how we resolve this issue. Yeah. And it seems to me you either are going to have to have uh, a, a separate category for trans athletes that trans women compete against other trans women, or that trans women continue to compete against men, given that they're originally biological men. What, what do you think is the fair way to resolve this? I think that it would be really awesome for there to be a place where trans women can compete in a fair way. And I also want to say that I don't want people to send hate to this person because they are a great skater and this was just an unfair situation that we're seeing in a lot of sports and a lot of women are being impacted and affected, but this person was just going by what Red Bull was allowing them to do, and I think that the, the group that should be responsible is the organizers with Red Bull. Well, Taylor, I... And I, I think the solution would be to either create... No, no, finish. Go ahead, Piers, I didn't mean to... No, um, no, sorry, it's because of the you. delay, but finish what you wanted to say. I was just saying, I think that um, to create a space that would um, be fair for trans women to compete against each other would be one possibility, but I also don't feel like it should be women's responsibility to solve this issue or have trans competitors thrown in to our group because they are biological males and they do have an unfair advantage. Right, and I, I just don't and think it is... It takes it away is... opportunities from athletes like myself 
Yeah, I mean, I don't think what anything that you're saying is transphobic. In fact, the opposite. You're, you're nothing against trans people or trans athletes. You just you want to end the unfairness which you have experienced. Yeah. Taylor, I've got to and leave it there. Thank you very much indeed for joining me, though. I appreciate it. And I'm, I applaud you for speaking out. I think silence is the enemy here. This is an issue that has to be resolved. So thank you. I really felt a moral obligation to speak up because I recognize that not only am I affected by this, but a lot of women and girls are being impacted by this in a negative way and not everybody feels like they're able to speak out but i've been put in a position that i feel like it's it's best for me to use my voice now no uh, well, you made the right decision taylor thank you thanks again appreciate it well i've got Anne robinson here and it's unbelievable uh, yes I mean, it, I sort it of is feel unbelievable like when you hear this and you see what's going on these uh trans women athletes and we see it in swimming we see it in sprinting they were not that successful when they competed against men. But once they come into women's it's a sport, walk in the park, isn't they're, it? they're destroying the field, and it seems completely unfair. Also, there's no, there's no uh, decision across the board about sport.